Hello, my friends. Leo with the Irish Zombie Nation. Scotty and I, Scotty is behind the camera there. We are out camping. It's just standard car camping. We have a picnic table. We brought out some uh, luxuries. And one of those luxuries, if you pan down here, cast iron skillet. Ignore Scotty's whiskey for now. Uh, but he also has some ingredients out here, some butter, some flour, uh, all kind of milk, all kinds of stuff. And he's going to do a gravy. But this video, this video, however, is going to be on how to cook to large porterhouse t-bone steaks in a cast iron skillet that you just saw over this campfire back here that wasn't smoke coming out of my butt if you couldn't see it that's actually a campfire so cooking two giant porterhouse t-bones in that cast iron skillet over that fire scotty's the cook here so he's going to be doing it this is mainly going to be his video i'm just introducing it so thanks for joining us let's eat hi our zombie nation this is scotty aka coles because we got a hot bed of coals going here leo started it did a great job. We're slowly building up coals to get us the proper amount of heat, nice balance, everything. So when it comes time to cook those steaks, I can't wait. Okay, we got some hot bed of coals here. Yes, we do. And we're gonna put the pan on, get her heated up, throw the steaks on, and we'll be eating soon. On fire. On fire. Oh, smoke in the eye. Okay, our pan looks like she's getting pretty hot. One good way to test it is just take a little bit of water. Oh, she's almost there. Mm -hmm. She's almost there. Okay, here in a few minutes, steaks are going to be going on. Okay, here we go. It's steak time. Look at these bad boys. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, they smell so good. Oh, yeah. What'd you, and, uh, did you marinate or is that a rub? What is that? It is a barbecue rub for steak. Well, there you go. Oh, yeah. Listen to that sizzle. Those are some big porterhouses, baby. Barely fit in the pan. That's what I'm talking about. All right, man. What's next? Uh, let it uh, sit there for a bit. Maybe hit it with a little whiskey. Flip oh, them. yeah. And maybe a little more whiskey. And there we go. Okay, one thing you really have to do, people, is make sure you keep a good bed of coals under there so you can keep your heat and you don't, your temperature doesn't drop. And let's go ahead and check these out. I'm gonna use my LT right. That's okay. a Gary Wines Bushcrafter, by the way. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna let it go a little bit longer. How's that other one looking? That's closer to where the big part of the fire is. Yeah, it was a little yeah. darker, a little darker. Yeah, I think what I'll do is try not to drop it in the fire. <laughs> if you I'll do that, just add some flavor. There you go. Well, there you go. There we go. We'll rotate it. Or that's how you take care of steaks. Hey, okay, I believe the steaks are ready to flip. Let's give them a try. God, this is so hot. Sorry. Oh my goodness. Look, Look at that. that. Look at that nice sear on there. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Dude, my mouth is watering. That was mine. <laughs> Make it get all that in there. Come on. Fit in there. There we go. Oh. All right, and later. I, I think oh, there's okay. one thing we could make this just a little bit better. What's that? Oh, man. All right, Scotty's got something over here. What's Scotty got? Oh, we got stabbed the knife in the table. All right, there we go. Look at that. Oh, I know what's in there. A little bit of whiskey. Oh, yeah. Let that sizzle up. A little bit more. Now, earlier you heard me say in the beginning of this video that there might be a gravy. That'll be a whole different video. But Scotty's going to use whatever fat and little chunks and everything are built up down in this cast iron skillet for that uh, gravy. Am I correct? That's correct. I... 
I plan to do it. Now I'm going to do it. All right. We'll see how it turns out. He's never done it before, right? Nope. This will be new. Not like this. Right. I've done it in restaurants. I cooked for 12 years, but over a fire like this, nope. All right. Well, I don't eat gravy, so you're going to have to do that on your own. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be delicious, though. Okay. It looks like these things are all, yeah. Yeah. A little bit of blood. Yeah. Let's yeah. Give him another flip and see what the other side looks like. Uh, I think that looks perfect, man. Oh, yeah. Which one is me? Which one am I getting? Oh, you're getting <laughs> the big boy. All right. I'll take it. I saw that blood okay. coming out of there. I look delicious. Okay. Here we go. Moment of truth. We're dropping this one off. We're just using cutting boards because these are huge. Moving over to my Here's spot. Ignore one. any trash on the table. Excellent. Look at that bad boy. <laughs> look at that, guys. Oh my lord, that looks delicious. And those are the little bits and everything. Yep. It's going to be used to make the gravy in a separate video, so stay tuned for that. All right, I got my steak here. Got my whiskey. I've got my iced tea. I've got some, what kind of beans are these? Bar bourbon barbecue baked beans? Yes. Bourbon barbecued baked beans. My By water. Bush. What? By bush. By bush. bush All right, beans. some bush baked beans. Fire kit that we used to start the fire, blah, blah, blah. My, my uh, cook kit, all that kind of stuff. But let's look at this steak. Let's see how it looks. I'm gonna get my my dark timber, 1911 Elite there. Sorry guys, I'm holding the phone slash camera here. Let's get down here. Just, I'm doing this one-handed. Let's cut into this. I don't know if we went a little too long or not. Let's look at how this looks. Oh, I can't get the video going. Mm. We good? We are good. A little bit. I call this medium well. So instead of medium, went a little bit longer. We started talking. We've been drinking a little bit of whiskey. <laughs> so maybe we went just a little bit too long, but yeah, that piece is a little too brown for me. But wait, you know what? We just left it on a little bit too long. That doesn't mean that that is not going to be a delicious steak. We're out here camping. It's going to be delicious. How's yours? Did you try it yet? No. Oh, you're letting it rest. See, I yeah. cut into it immediately. Yeah. Maybe that was my problem. Let's see. So we were, but were we going for medium? Is that what we were doing? Let's see what you got going on here. Yeah, that's uh, more. Yeah. Well, there's some. Yeah, that's a, a medium little, well. Yeah. So we went just a little bit too long. Definitely not well that's done. Fair. We went with the medium well. So apologies, guys, for all you freaks that are probably going to be mad because this is a little bit too brown. You're going to be like, oh, my God, no, it's got to be medium rare or rare. You're not a real man. Whatever, man. Scotty, excellent job. Thank you, brother. I'm going to dig into this steak. Yeah, enjoy. All right, so we got the baked beans. Nice and warm. It's not the star of the show, though. The star of the show is this porterhouse right here. Let me get a bite off of here. The seasoning is wonderful. A little bit of blood. Let me see if you can maybe see it squeeze out a little bit. Did you see that or no? Yeah, all right. A little bit of blood. What's better than being out in the woods with a porterhouse and some baked beans and if I can swallow that, <clears throat> some good cheap American bourbon. Slant your nation. I'm going to get into this. Out of the way. Go. You're recording? Three? Are you sure? I didn't hear it beep. Yeah, it's good recording. Okay. Three, two, one. Well, actually, this is per... Three, two, one. Actually, this is cooked exactly how I wanted it. I ate that outer piece first, and there was, you can see right in here, up against the bone, nice and pink, a little bit of blood when you squeeze on it. And then right here, this piece, you can see, that's exactly how I wanted it, a nice medium. You can see that blood. You see it? Is it showing up on camera? Yeah, a little. You see that blood squeezing out of there? Oh, yeah. All right. Scotty, my friend, I'm still going to do an outro if I can get this. <laughs> I'm still going to do an outro for this video, but I had to bring you back just to tell you that this is one of the most delicious steaks I have had in a long time. So thanks, brother. You're welcome. Some beans left. However, the steak is gone. <laughs>
All right, I'm done with the steak. I had the bone left. I had a little bit of gristle, a little bit of fat. Uh, and I'm going to bring that home wrapped up in aluminum foil. I'm going to bring that home to the dogs because they are going to love it. Scotty made that gravy he was talking about. This is the first time you got to remember this. First time he's ever done it. Turned out pretty good. I tried it. I hate gravy, but he, yeah, he's liking it. So here it is. You can see. But there's all another video on that. So we're not going to talk about the gravy. We're talking about that steak and that steak was delicious. Some of the outer edges uh, were more medium well, but once I got down in the middle of that sucker, medium, just like I like it. A little bit of blood, a little bit of pink. So who doesn't like a little bit of pink, right? Anyway, <laughs> thanks for joining us. Uh, there you go. That's how you cook a steak in a cast iron skillet, big old porterhouse. Thanks for joining us, guys. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below if you got anything to say. And until next time, we'll see you around that fire over there, maybe, or maybe another fire. Who knows what we'll see you, but hopefully we'll see you around the fire.